Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your doom. <laughs> and which I talk about common sense. I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, 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 very important. And these videos are not pertaining to the masses of asses. So if you're sensitive, you're religious, you're a stick in the mud, you're NPC, you're EDB, emotional douchebag, non-playable character, you should not watch my video because I say some crude, crude things. My mouth is very dangerous. And some people just get sensitive. I don't like sensitive either. They destroy the world. It's like that fucking... Uh, Chris Rock and that Will Smith, you know, sensitive people like Will Smith destroy everything. and He's going to ruin everything for himself. You gonna have to do something for that man. It ain't just no fucking apologies because they everybody know who Chris Rock is. But that's not what this video is about. This video is going to be pertaining to for women. I just had a conversation with this woman in my inbox. Right. And she's going to tell me what is the definition of value. OK, you know, because she got some knowledge from Kevin Simp Samuels, and I keep saying Kevin Simp Samuels said he wasn't a therapist. I consider him a therapist in a sense because he's already talking to hundreds of women, and you could be an anecdotal therapist, so he has to start saying that because he's not as wise as I am when it comes down to the pimp game. He don't know nothing about it, but people will call him alpha based off his image, but he has no knowledge. But anyway, I digress here. This video is going to be about what is high value. Now, when she was telling me about what what do you, would you consider by high value? The word value means either, it depends on what your preference is or what is value. But value, it, to me, when, hear people, when people in general hear value, they're thinking about money. All right? They're thinking about money. And what you bring to the table, you have to understand that man is creating life in your womb. You are an incubator. You hear me, woman? You are an incubator. Sex fades over time. So your value decreases over time. His value goes up in time because he has many more hobbies to keep himself entertained. He don't need to focus. He know how he knows how to compartmentalize. While you don't. Okay. You as a woman don't know how to compartmentalize. So you as a woman, this is a message for you women, as I said this before. I'm not gonna talk too much about men because men are easy to talk about. You don't know, you haven't been trained. Well, have to have, have particular type of skills like guys do to keep yourself of high value for that man. Because usually the man is going to bring more to the table from the jump. He's going to bring life into your womb. Life comes from a man's spermazoid, okay, into your womb. You know the caterpillar, okay, is basically, it's, it's a, it starts off as a worm. And then it, it sits for a while and then it transforms into a cocoon. It's, it wraps itself up in its own silk or something and it turns into a caterpillar. You are that cocoon. That's all you are. You have no life in your womb. You have to understand that's scientific. The spermazoid is actually moving. You don't know what a spermazoid is? You should do some research on that. That is the life. And only one of them reaches your egg. So after you are pregnant, think about your value Okay, first. And this is why I keep trying to tell women, okay, your value is not as worth long term. You are a liability, okay? Marriage is not necessary because when you marry, you can sue him because he might not have the knowledge to sue you back, especially if he already has more money than you from the beginning. And nine times out of ten, most women look at value as money, as the value and how much money he has in a man. This happens overseas everywhere because I'm, when I go overseas, I'm telling you, tell you right now, most women only interested in me because I'm American, obviously. But I got to take advantage of that fact as they try to take advantage of me. See, when I ask for a woman to do things for me. Sometimes they'll procrastinate because they're either shy. I got to break barriers down because women have more psychological problems than men do. When men have psychological problems, they go into their man cave or they commit suicide or they'll go to some sort of hobby. But women don't do that. They know their value is between their legs. They know this. So <clears throat> stop listening to Kevin Sam Samuel when he says that, oh, you have to be making this. It's No, it's not. It's not about that. It's about polygyny over monogamy because. On the woman's side, you are selfish by nature because of your single mother, how you was raised. Your alpha father was not around because you never, most of you haven't never had one. Because alphas don't do monogamy relationships. I keep telling you this, but nobody want to hear it. But when I make this video, okay, I know women are not going to watch because I look cringy. Because, you know, <laughs> but, you know, I'm telling the truth, but that's okay. <laughs> but, um, please, 
Value is representation of how much you're willing to give and be spontaneous. Value is what you bring to the table when you open your legs and have other sisters to share. To me, it's like this. It's even harder to meet an alpha these days because alphas don't do virgins, non-virgins. If you're not a virgin, you're already busted open. So you're going to be charged. That's the negative. In my heydays, when I was a fetish, fetish gigoloer, fucking with the strap on and shit like that, getting paid for doing masseuse and babysitting services, I do, I offer a services. You pay me, I come and do it. Okay, we got shit in writing already. I was on MySpace, okay? Nobody does what I do. You got to have something to the table before you can bring yourself to an alpha because if he talks to you directly, that's an alpha. You know straight up, this is what we're going to do. This is how it's going to work. And that's final. It's not about how much money anybody makes. You keep your money. Everybody should be working for them goddamn selves. When I brought my fucking ex-wife over here, she tried to come to Canada first. And I told her how hard that was. I told her, you're going to have to have your own income. You're going to have to build your own money up. You're going to have to do everything yourself because everything's independent in America. You can't do that. What women do, they get tired of a man. And by 70%, they file for divorces. And they shouldn't be doing that because they're getting tired. They're lazy. They don't know what to do with that man. And when I teach women how to treat a man, they don't want to listen. They say that's hard. You, you motherfucking bitches better go back to the old school days where Little House and the Perry was on TV. Was on TV. You leave it to Beaver, okay? Even the Bundys. You can learn a lot from the Bundys married with children, okay? Because you see how they're in a relationship. Even though it was offending each other greatly, you still, they had a loving relationship. And you don't fuck with the Bundys. Look at the Jeffersons. Look at all them shows, the good times. I was there in the old days. I'm an OG, original gnosis. I'm not a gangster. I kill gangsters. I don't like gangsters. I'd be hoping they kill themselves off as much as possible because they was raised by single mothers. You can't stop that shit. They don't like education. They don't, they, 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 they complain because they're living off milk and eggs. But I said, why don't you go with the, go to Africa? Them motherfuckers are living off less. Them motherfuckers are living off less, motherfucker. But you know what? If you're a woman and you want to know what value is, have spontaneousness with yourself. Have some creative ability to learn what men like to do. What do men like to do? Video games, wrestling, something like, like when, when I go see my boy Chuck over in Clareton, he likes to watch wrestling. I really hate wrestling, but I try my best. You have to make sacrifices. So, okay, you don't like wrestling. What about basketball? What about cars? Okay, what about tools and computers? Because a lot more guys like computers than women do. And men are particularly much more better at it than most women anyway, overall, because they're logical. Uh, men are logical and women are more emotional. And when women get out of control, they start use, doing this uh, thing called the cancer culture. And then everything is ruined because they're emotional and they can't, they don't have nothing else to do. They'll become like Will Smith, okay? <laughs> now, somebody got to make a tag on that shit. Somebody got to put a little brand name on that smack and shit because that was ridiculous. That was completely in the wrong. And, you know, Chris Rock didn't do anything. He's still like a man, okay? He's still more like a man than fucking Will Smith. Because I know Chris Rock, he cheated on his wife, right? Okay, you know, it's not in nature, natural nature for a man to have one wife. Okay, it's not natural. Y'all guys got to stop marrying. And y'all women got to stop marrying too. You got to make agreement packs. Because that's what pimps do. Okay, I'm not a pimp though. I'm a, I'm a gigolo type. You know, you I sell you services you do for me. Okay, you know, you got to have a trade. So when you come to the table and you sit there with a the man, you ain't bringing just pussy. I can do this, this, this. I can jump on that. <laughs> You bet that's value. Fuck the money because you won't have to earn your own. Like when, when I dealt with my wife, I said that hey, you want to work and you're going to work for the white man and your money going to go to him. And then your, your time is going to go to him, but your money going to go to me. I think that's wise because I'm taking care of everything. I'm doing all the paperwork and shit. What are you doing? What are you doing to bring your value up? If I'm a millionaire, I'm already at higher value and, and money costs anyway. Well, my profit is. And, 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 and responsibility is higher than yours. So what are you as a woman bringing to the table? So please don't come to me with this bullshit. I keep my shit private. I don't, if I would ever put a female and I'm talking to her, it would be definitely, I, I would probably get too many fucking views. It's like, hey, why don't you do that? Why don't you make a stream? I had somebody told me that. I said, nah, I don't want to embarrass her because she's just living in ignorance. I don't want to do what Kevin Simpson. I respect women's privacy. I say, hey, you want me to put it on a video? You want it? They say, no. I say, okay. I don't want to do that. This is why I do it on the side. I do virtual dating advice. I am an expert. Yes, I am. Not like Kevin Simpson, Samuels and everybody else. 
I am not a beta like Tommy Sotomayor and Fresh and Fit, okay, and Beta and Preach. These guys are just in their emotions. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to control the situation. Look at Will Smith. Look what happens when the Jezebel get a hold of a good man. You know, how, how he can transform. He could transform himself into an alpha if he just came to me, though. But that smack, that ruins his fucking reputation as a real man. Me, I, I would have told her straight up. If any time a woman disrespects me in public, you disrespect her in public. You tell her this is not the way you do it. You do not allow. You bring your woman back in the back. You and you tell her what she should not. Should, no, no, it doesn't work that way. If it was my wife, I directly tell her you do not disrespect me. And you do not do that again ever again. And she will respect that shit. Y'all guys got to stop going in the back trying to talk to people. But look what Will Smith did. He didn't talk, he didn't go up to her and say, hey, you know, that kind of hurt my feelings. He didn't do that. He actually went up there and caused a violent offense against a man who's naturally a comedian, a master comedian. That's fucked up. Imagine if Will, uh, Cat Williams did some shit like that. Imagine if Eddie Murphy did. Uh, imagine if uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, he would have never walked his ass up on there. He would have got his ass served. You do not do that to alphas. But since he's a beta, he's not going to do shit. Because I, I know for a fact, I got sucker punched because of the fact that motherfucker's afraid. And then when you get sucker punched, I have sucker punched twice. I realized that this, it's about the distance. You always keep your distance from everybody. So you, they can't, you won't get sucker punched. You always watch your back. You always watch the surroundings. Because there's always some pussies that will try to start some shit. But if you really want to have value, start studying up on man's philosophies, psychologies, the patriarch. Start understanding what to do. In a situation so you won't become bored. Don't become religious. Men, men are not religious by nature. They're not. The religion is it usually occurs so can pull in more people like the charlatans that's out there. Their value goes up on the weak beta people. Because they don't know how to help other people. Because your whole purpose when you go to the church is to help other people. So we won't have poor. We won't have the, no more poor. We got homeless sitting around in America. That's a shame. That's where you know they're charlatans. Anytime we see homelessness, but understand what your value is. Value is basically, sh it should be about what you can bring to the table minus the money, minus the money. If you don't live free or die trying, you ain't living by value. Because imagine if there was no more money, were you going to break up with your husband or some shit because he ain't got no more money? What are you going to do when the children... When the rock comes down on you, nature comes down on you because most of you motherfuckers are parasites. You don't understand how to give back to the earth because I'm an earth person. Okay? I don't like most of you humans because all you do is talk, 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 never a cycle and shit. You destroy the planet. I'm too much more than what you think I am. Check out my credentials down below and shut the fuck up. Okay. All right. Other than that, I try to tell you guys, you can't be sensitive. When someone says something about you, say something about them, but don't defame their character. If it's about if it's about good humor, okay, even if it's raunchy humor, it doesn't matter if it's dirty or dark, then say something back, but don't defame the person's character. If you have a mother, because I know for a fact that if I started ripping on people's mothers, if you can't do that in New York, because people will shoot you because they don't they don't know how to fight back, because they're pussies. Fight fire with fire. Oh, your mama, baby. I say, your mama, your daddy. Just do that. Just fight back. You don't need to pull out no knives. You don't need to put your hands on nobody. All right? But other than that, that's all I really got to say about what value, true value is. Having something to bring into someone's table so you won't be bored for one another. Because women are the one first ones to get bored when it comes to relationships. And if you are starting to think about polygyny, that energy will be redirected to your other sister wives today, right? Right, right. And then you'll probably get jealous because he's showing more attention because he's better at doing something more than you. You see how it is? You've got to have more to bring to the table because no matter how you think about it, it's mostly going to be 90% of the man is going to have all of the value, the money. So we're not going to talk about that. Now, for you sisters who do have a lot of money, like Oprah, okay, who didn't marry her, her man, okay, you could have multitudes of man friends too. You could have multiple dicks in one little hole. You could do whatever you want. That's your money. It's you could be alpha in the fee as a female. You could have multiple men, beta males. You serve them, okay? They serve you. You have to give in order to receive. You have to receive in order to give. So if he's giving you something, you should at least give him back something, right? If someone gave you something for free, I usually give things for free first. I give him a little taste and see what what kind of they respond to me, you know, and I ask for something. 
And see how hard it is to give them, give me something back. You got to use psychology, people. So when someone gives you something free, don't you think you should give them something back? And then on top of that, you got to be very thoughtful and complimentary. Because if you don't have nothing else to, to give, at least compliment and say, hey, I wish I could do something. Be sentimental. Be empathetic. Okay, Jesus, y'all women are fucking pathetic. Most of you women are pathetic. You don't give shit to men. If a man is licking your asshole, that's a compliment, bitch. Are you out of your fucking mind? If a man sucks your titties, that's a compliment. You mother, oh my, are you kidding me? No matter what he says, cover your ears. Okay? Put a blindfold on and shit. Tell him to smack your ass and shut the fuck up. Because I don't like noise when I'm fucking. The only noise I want to hear is the sound that's coming out of your pussy when I'm fucking. Okay, right? <laughs> and that's not air. Okay? That's you squeezing, right? Or maybe you're not squeezing. Or is this too huge, right? <laughs> I got off the topic real quick, right? <laughs> But when I talk to women in my inbox, I don't always look at my patron as a way of getting paid. I usually tell them that here's my payment, okay, up in my inbox. They give me my money through my cash app, and I do it that way. It's not. It don't have to be every month you have to pay. You don't have to join the patron. I do have a patron down there, but I got other ways of getting paid, okay? I don't do anything illegal because I'm a holy man. Why would I do anything sinful? And as I, as I said before, time and time again, Stop focusing on that Jesus concept. There are people in this world who have no sins. And then you say we're born in sins? What kind of shit is that? Jesus died, motherfucker. Even the Demiurge gods leave this planet after 3,000 or 6,000 years. Y'all better do some research on that shit. There are people in this world who have no sins. Blind people can't have no sins because they can't see. Y'all motherfuckers are stupid. Mm. Oh, only person with no sins is a fucking Jesus. What the fuck kind of logic is that? That's dumb. Your mind's inside the box, this fucking little box, so much that you kind of forget about poor people over in third world countries who, who cannot sin. They can't sin because they're too poor to sin. They're too fucking poor to fucking sin, motherfuckers. Then you don't think about the handicap. You don't think about the... They're sinless. They don't have sins. They can't sin. Everyone is going to think of some dirty thought because they're, that's their nature. That's everybody's nature in this world. Even Jesus sinned. If you read the Bible carefully, he dared, he carefully, he, he, he did some disrespectful shit. He did some mean shit. He killed things. He brought things back to life. And that goes for everybody who comes into this physical avatar world. But anyway, I, I digress here. Your value is what you can bring to the table to entertain that man. Not just him creating children in your incubator stomach, okay, like a caterpillar. You, those children, okay, are his responsibility a man is a better parent than the fucking mother it's a they're, they're not equals please don't do that don't do that today okay? don't talk to me about that my fact today okay? don't talk to me about women are the one who should be with the no it should be the male who's with the child today okay? because nine times out of ten if we were living back in medieval times any child that has some sort of deformity or some sort of retardation is killed today okay? because we don't want those children to breed off the society, okay, to be handicaps, okay, but don't, don't get me wrong, okay, some handicaps have some skills, but most don't, okay, retarded people don't, but some of them have skills, you got to be careful with that, so if you allow all the retarded children, handicapped children to live, most of them will not be able to survive, they will be, they will be happier if you kill them off like Dr. Kovorchyic in Russia, they will want to go to sleep, they don't want to live because they don't have no purpose, they can't see. Some of them can't see. Some of them who are born in this world with constant pain. Some of them are, are, are born with, um, they're allergic to water and sun. Okay. Y'all you know, you don't know about those people. You, you, just, you just forget because you're so selfish and wrapped up in your little motherfucking box. But this video is about what is value. What do you bring to the table? All right. So I talk about many subjects which most guys don't talk about in here because they are the betas. If they are beta alpha, they are a whoremonger, okay? They are a whoremonger, all right? I was all three. I was messing with women with strap-ons. So if you consider me a whoremonger for fucking with women with strap-ons <laughs> and massaging women's bodies naked, that's up to you. But I don't consider myself a whore at all. I'm not a whore, okay? I don't do that. That's nasty. I, th I think about how dirty the pussy is down here. I don't. I, don't, I have OCD with use vaginas. I'm a gynecologist. I look at the pussy with gloves, and I, I, I tell you to put on some, put on the mask on your eyes. I don't want to see your eyes. 
I don't want to see your eyes while I'm looking at your ass. But anyway, I digress here. Um, I love you all, but I hate the many of you. And what do I do in my spare time? The government says I have magical powers. I say I have magical powers. And I get I get blessed by my government. And like the beautiful in the United States is a great country because of the fact that they are open-minded to those who are gifted. And those who are not gifted, you guys got to work. You gotta, guys got to work real hard. Everywhere I go, people open doors for me. I say, I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that because they think I'm retarded or some shit. They think I'm so special that I deserve those things. But I respect that. I respect that. But I'm a normal person too. It's just that a lot of people are kept in the dark. And you guys can't be doing things to people that you think you ain't going to get away with. You don't believe in karma? You better have an open mind. You better start thinking about hypotheticals. Yeah, I got to start thinking about hypothetically be agnostic because hypothetically there may be a God. Okay, I said maybe, but I didn't say there was. You know, atheists don't think that way. Atheists don't believe in shit with no probability of possibility. If they can stay in science and they can be, they can stay in alchemy, that's cool. But they don't believe in pink unicorns and aliens. They don't believe in nothing. Atheists don't believe in nothing. I said believe. They don't have a skeptic bone in their motherfucking body. Now, I keep tell, I'm going off the subject a little bit. I keep telling people you cannot merge an agnostic and an atheist. An atheist is someone who does have a closed mind. They're scientists. But an agnostic are the skeptics. They're not going to say that something does exist today. But atheists always say that God doesn't exist. Okay? So you can't be two things at once. Okay? It's an oxymoron. Other than that, I'm out here, guys. I've been talking for 21 minutes. I hope you have learned a valuable lesson you you beautiful black women and white women all across the world and also shapeshifters and other species that we can't describe, okay? And some of you keep yourself very well hidden from society. Very good, very good. Because human beings are very fearful creatures, very childless like race. But it's okay, over time they may evolve. We are give, giving them a billion years so far. And some of them have been coming from other planets. I can understand that. Um, other than that, I love the animals more than humans. But I don't fuck the animals, though some species do, okay? <laughs> and eat them, too. And eat their assholes, okay? <laughs> and that's the human race. <sighs> Peace.